Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to talk about a very important question that is how to become a blockchain developer or I will say how to become a successful blockchain developer. And I promise by the end of this video, you will have a clear step by step path on how to become a successful blockchain developer. So do watch the video till end. Now before talking about the roadmap, we need to understand that there are two types of blockchain developers. First, blockchain core developer. Second, blockchain software developer. Now, what is the responsibility of a blockchain core developer? Blockchain core developer mainly deals with the architecture of blockchain, the core, the fundamentals of blockchain. While if we talk about blockchain software developers, blockchain software developers are the one who creates decentralized application. And if we talk about the current marketplace, that is the job marketplace or the startup marketplace, blockchain software developers are much more in demand as compared to blockchain core developers. So in this video, we are going to focus on blockchain software developers because these are the people which are in demand the most. So when I'm going to say blockchain developer, I will be talking about blockchain software developer. Now let us have a close look of the responsibility of a blockchain software developer or a blockchain developer. So the main responsibility of a blockchain developer is to create decentralized application. Now, what is a decentralized application? When you have your smart contract, smart contract, which are programs that you write on blockchain, when you take this smart contract and you integrate this smart contract with a front end so that a normal user can use your application. So you integrate this smart contract and this front end together and then you deploy this whole thing over a decentralized network. So let's say Ethereum network or a blockchain, you know, Solana network, so any of the decentralized network. So what you get is a decentralized application. So now we have understood the responsibility of a blockchain developer. And also we have understood what is a decentralized application. Now, both of these information will be very helpful in order to understand the roadmap of a successful blockchain developer. So as we discussed in the previous slide, that the role of a blockchain developer is to create decentralized application. And as we discuss about decentralized application, decentralized application consists of two technologies. First, your smart contract and another thing, your front end. So first thing that you should learn in blockchain development is how to create a front end and how to create a smart contract. If you will learn these two different technologies, then that is more than enough. So if you know how to create a beautiful front end for your decentralized application. If you know how to write your business logic in the smart contract, you are good to go. So these are the two main technologies that you need to focus on when you want to become a blockchain developer. So remember this front end technology and the smart contract. So these are the minimum things that you should know in order to become a blockchain developer. But there are companies which will require that you should have knowledge of backend. That is how to create a server and also how to create a database. Now you must be thinking like, why, what is the reason for this? Because as we have seen, in order to create a decentralized application, we just need front-end technology and the smart contract technology. Then why do we need backing and, and database? So the reason is very simple. First thing is that blockchain is a new technology. So most of the companies that are in the current marketplace, they are switching from this server side to blockchain side, right? So they need people who can help them in doing so. And for that, they require people who have the knowledge of backend as well as database. Second thing is there also that blockchain is a very new technology. So most of the companies that are entering into the market, they also do not have much idea about blockchain. So how they judge you in an interview, they judge you in an interview on the basis of this backend on this front end as well as on this database. So there are companies, you know, the, who will not be asking you question about smart contracts or blockchain, or if they will be asking you, then they will be asking you very easy questions. But for this front end, for this back end, and for this database, they might ask you some hard questions. But as I said, this is not a necessity. There are few companies who are doing that. But as I said, in order to become a blockchain developer, you only require these two technologies. But if you think that, okay, the company that I'm going to apply also requires the knowledge of backend and database, then I will suggest you to definitely go for it. Like for backend, you can go for Node.js, Java. So these are the different programming languages that you can offer backend. And for database, you can either go for MySQL or NoSQL. Okay. So you can go for these different technologies. Now let's talk about the front end and the smart contract part. Like what are the programming languages should I know in order to become a blockchain developer? So for front end, mainly 
most of the time you will see that JavaScript is used to create the front end of your decentralized application. And apart from JavaScript, we have React.js, which is actually a library of JavaScript. Then we have Next.js, which is actually the work of React.js, right? So for front end, most of the time you are going to see the use of JavaScript only. So what I will suggest you is to go for front end. Like when you are thinking to go for front end, I will suggest you to go for JavaScript and then you can learn the React.js or Next.js as per your choice. Definitely Next.js is a framework. So you have to go for React.js first and then you can go for the Next.js part. Now for the smart contract, what I will suggest you is to go for Solidity programming language. There are various other programming languages as well, like you have Viper, but Solidity is one of the most famous programming languages. And this is the programming language which is in the most demand. So I will suggest you to go for Solidity as a programming language if you are thinking to create smart contract. Otherwise, it's your choice. If you are thinking to go for any other programming language for smart contract creation, you can go for it. And if you also think that, okay, for front end, I want to learn some other programming language. Again, you can go for it. There is no issue. Blockchain, there are so many different blockchains. You can go for different kind of programming languages as per your choice. But the only thing that you should know this is a very important thing that you should know and various people will not tell you this that whatever programming languages you are thinking for smart contract creation or whatever programming language you are going to choose for front end creation you can go for any of those but the only thing is you need to know how you are going to connect this smart contract which is which belongs to the blockchain world and this front end which belong to our real world how you are going to connect these two different worlds because smart contract, you know, as it is something new, right, belonging to the blockchain world and this front end, which is belonging to the real world, there are two different worlds. So we need to connect between these two. We need a connection between these two different worlds, right, so that they can communicate, they can transfer data. And for that, you require a library. And that library is web3.js library. And also there is other option as well, that is ether.js library. So these are the libraries that are used in order to connect your smart contract with your front end. So these libraries will actually help you to connect this blockchain world with this real world. Okay. So these are the three things I will say that you must learn if you are thinking to becoming a blockchain developer. So smart contract, front end and one of those, you know, ether.js or web3.js library. So again, you can have any programming language, you can choose any programming language in smart contract, you can choose any programming language or front end. The only thing that matters is how you are going to connect these two different things. Another thing that you will be requiring in order to become a blockchain developer is the knowledge of object oriented programming. So I will highly suggest you to understand what is inheritance, what is an interface, what is abstract classes. These are the concepts that I will highly suggest you to go for because object oriented programming is something which you are going to use highly in your blockchain career. So the knowledge of object oriented programming is highly required. So till now what we talked about was about public blockchain. Okay. Now Hyperledger is a private permission blockchain. Now this is a blockchain which is being used in enterprises. So most of the enterprises are not comfortable in sharing their data public. So that's why they use private blockchain and hyperledger is one of those blockchain so if you are thinking to go into this field like in the field of private blockchain then i will suggest you to go for hyperledger now the hyperledger the beauty of hyperledger is that you can create smart contract in hyperledger in java go node.js so there is no constraint means you do not need to learn any new programming languages so you can either go for java you can go for go you can go for node.js so this is the beauty of hyperledger so you do not have to learn any other you know like solidity uh, uh, a programming language which which is actually being used for by the ethereum blockchain only like in hyperledger if you just know java if you know just go or node.js you can directly switch to hyperledger blockchain technology but as a blockchain developer, I will suggest you to start with public blockchain and then only go to private blockchain because many of the concept in private blockchain is are I will say too complex and you will not understand them until or unless you have knowledge of public blockchain. Okay, but definitely you can go for this field as well when you if you want to you know thinking to become a private blockchain developer like means uh, if you are thinking to become a blockchain developer in private blockchain technology. Now after you have learned your front-end technology after you have learned your smart contract technology what i will suggest you is to go for other things as well like what is ipfs 
what is cryptography because cryptography is something which is highly used in blockchain so you should understand you should have a knowledge of cryptography what is truffle truffle is a tool that makes the life of a blockchain developer very easy truffle and hard hat nfts what are actually nfts so nfts are you know hot in the market so what are nfts how they work in everything what is DeFi? decentralized finance okay and what is get how you can become a node if you are a normal computer how you can be a part of a blockchain you know network so things like these should also be clear to you okay otherwise your primary goal should be to learn a front-end technology second to learn a smart contract technology once you will learn these two technologies you are half ready i will say or i will say more than half ready then you have to go for you know if you are thinking to apply for a job which requires backing knowledge then you can go for you know node.js java whatever programming language suits you and for database again it's your choice. you can either go for mysql or nosql whatever suits you okay so i hope i was able to give you clarity on how to become a successful blockchain developer what roadmap to follow in order to become a blockchain developer if you have any doubts or queries please comment below this video i will be happy to answer your queries if you want to directly interact with me you can join our instagram community i am available there and please do like this video and subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye